Hey, this is James with Lot Hill. I'm going to show you how to update cache footprint to the latest available version. There's a couple um, installations that we need to do, and it should be relatively quick uh, depending on the speed of your computer. First thing we're going to do before we get started is make a database backup. So go ahead and open up cache footprint and log in. You'll go to the tools menu, server database, and then backup database. This is going to ask you to save the database to a particular location on your computer. You can simply save it to your standard um, or normal backup location, or you know maybe just save it to the desktop for the purposes of this exercise. Um, this is a precautionary step, um, but I do recommend that you do it just in case there are issues with the new version, you can always roll back. So uh, a little protection there just to make sure we're covered. Um, then the next thing we're gonna do, go ahead and close down Cache Footprint. We're gonna uninstall Cache Footprint and the reporting engine. Uh, the reason we're doing both is uh, to ensure that if you're coming from an older version, maybe pre-243 or so, um, that everything is upgraded appropriately. Otherwise, you know, you could have issues when you run a report or try and print a full page invoice. So let's go ahead and get started with the uninstall. Um, on Windows 10 or Windows 8, you should be able to use the Windows button on your keyboard. So Windows and then the letter S, both at the same time, that's gonna open up the search. And then just type control and you'll see the control panel. On Windows 7, let me show you how to do that here real quick. Uh, all right, this guy here. Windows 7, you can just go down to the Windows Start button and then there's Control Panel right there. Just go ahead and click on Control Panel and then Uninstall a Program. That's gonna give you the same window uh, that you see right here, Uninstall a Program. Uh, look for Cache Footprint in your list, there it is, and then click Uninstall. And once this is complete, we're also going to uninstall the SAP Crystal Reports. So I'm going to let this finish here for a second. All right, I'm going to click Yes to uninstall. That's going through the motions. All right, that's done. And then scroll down and find SAP Crystal Reports. And you should see that. There it is. Go ahead and uninstall that as well. Yes. Perfect. Now, once that those are uninstalled, let's go to our website, lothill.com, and we'll grab the latest version from there. And for this, I'm just gonna use Firefox. And I'll go to lothill.com, click on our Downloads tab at the top, scroll down, and you should see the latest version. This number is 210.11. Go ahead and click on that and save that to your computer. Save. If you're using Chrome, it's going to save down in the lower left. If you're using uh, Edge or Internet Explorer, uh, you may have the option to run it, um, but I do recommend you save it first and then run it once it's complete. Uh, Firefox, I'm going to see it up in the left here, and I'm going to go ahead and click on it to run the download. Click Yes to allow changes. And I'm going to minimize my browser here. Click Setup. That will start the installation. First thing it's going to do is install the reporting engine that we uninstalled. This is going to be version, uh, I think it's the version 20 um, of the reporting engine. So we'll go ahead and click accept to let that install. It's going to download it and then go through the installation process. It may take a minute or two, so uh, just be patient. Uh, once this is done, it will bring up cache footprint and uh, allow us to run through the installation for that. Uh, should be in just a second here. And this has no bearing on your information. All your information is saved. Uh, we also made a backup before we started, so um, there will be no data loss there. We're just simply uninstalling the front end, which is cache footprint. All your data is stored in a, in a separate database. So go ahead and click Next to start the cache footprint install. Click Agree if you agree. Click Next, and you can change the path here if you want to, otherwise just use the default, click Next. 
and then next to start the installation. Once the install is complete, click close. And then Cache Footprint is now installed in your computer and the icons are on your desktop. Go ahead and launch Cache Footprint. I'm gonna show you a couple things here um, that you're gonna to wanna to check now that we have the new version installed. So first thing, go ahead and just go to Tools, Server Database, make a fresh database. Uh, Cache Footprint will have upgraded your database and things like that. So if you need to roll back in the future, this is a good point to roll back to. So go ahead and make another backup. And you can put the naming convention after it. Just put, uh, you know, fresh install, something like that, version 2.10.11, whatever you want to do. Uh, but go ahead and make a backup. All right. And then now let's go into tools and then options. And we're just gonna check a couple things here. So receipt printer, just make sure you only have one if that's what you usually have. Uh, in the past, an update could have installed extra printers. So just, if you only have one receipt printer that you use for printing receipts, you should only have one entry here. If you see more than that, um, just highlight it and click delete, that way you only have one. And then also go ahead and do a test just to make sure that the, the printer is still testing. Same thing with the cash drawer. Go ahead and make sure you have one there. Uh, should be connected to whatever it was connected to before. I know it looks different, but it should still function exactly the same. Go ahead and click test drawer. That'll make sure that your drawer pops correctly. Um, customer display. Uh, if you're using a customer display to show prices and things like that, we do have those available on lothill.com. If you don't have one, um, you can grab one from there. Um, but if you have a pole display, just click test. That should still be functioning properly. You want to use the customer facing screen. So if you have a second monitor facing the customer for um, showing prices and things like that, typically you see that in a grocery store or convenience store. Um, that should still be set up. Everything else should still be working correctly. Uh, reports, just make sure you have your report printer selected. Um, other than that, you know, your merchant processing, if you have that uh, set up and integrated with the system so it's all seamless. Um, make sure that your values are still there. Uh, it's okay if you don't. I mean, if you're using the card processing outside of cash footprint, that's fine too. Um, but for those of you that have it integrated, just make sure that your selection is still there. Um, just kind of go through and just check on things a little bit, make sure they're all there. They should, everything should still be there and be fine. Um, one thing you may need to do, go ahead and go to the employee menu, select employees, and we're gonna highlight your manager profile or your profile. Click on the permissions tab, and just go through and make sure that all of the selections are made for all the permissions. Uh, being a manager, you should have full permission to everything. So um, if you see that there are some things unchecked, just double click or hit edit in the toolbar and then hit select all and then save. That's gonna make sure you have full permission so you can manage the system appropriately. Anytime we add a new permission, um, we can have that unchecked or checked depending on what permissions were allowed before. So. Um, just go through and double check, make sure everything's selected there. Um, if you're a manager or if you have other managers that need to access everything, just go through and make sure that they have all permissions. Finally, uh, let's go ahead and test out a reporting engine. So go to the man or I'm sorry, reports, employee report, and then list by name. This is just a basic report. That should pop right up. Um, sometimes it takes a minute uh, or a couple seconds if it's the first report you've run. So um, that should pop up just fine if you have any issues with that, let us know. Um, but that's it for the update for Cash Footprint. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, you can reach us at 855-LOT-HILL. That's 855-568-4455. Or you can shoot us an email at product.support at lothill.com. Thanks. Enjoy.